All right, guys, so I get asked this question all the time. How does your beard look so full? How do you get it looking so good? I don't understand. And the number one tip, I always, I literally tell everybody that asks me that, I say, look up. And I have them show me their neckline. The most important thing you can do to have a fuller beard is to not trim with your jawline. I used to do that when I first started growing a beard. Trust me, I, I did it. And I thought it was great back then. I look at old pictures of me, I'm like, oh my God, that was so horrible. And when I found out that you don't trim with the jawline, it's transformed my beard into something great that people are always asking questions about. And it's really easy to do. Now, what you do when you trim your beard um, is you wanna take your thumb and your finger and you make an L like that. And you put it up and you put this right into the, the apex of your jaw right there. And you do that. You go up, you see my thumb? It's like right here. That's where you should be shaving the bottom of your beard at. You don't want all this neck hair down here, but you want that line right across there. You want that. So I'm gonna show you how I do it, how I trim everything. And I'm gonna to try to do this for the camera without using the mirror. We're gonna see if it works. So I use these clippers, these wall uh, pro clippers. And I talked about them in another video, but if you want to get like good results out of your clippers, you need something like better than just beard trimmers. They're, when you get like a fuller beard, you can't use beard. Beard trimmers aren't gonna cut it. Um, these like professional, they're like, what, 30, 40 bucks for a pair of these. They're fucking awesome. Um, they come with like metal tips and all kind of stuff. So, um, I use these every, almost not every day, but at least twice a week. So this is how I shave underneath. You know how I got that, that line here. You go up and you see that my thumbs like, Oh, that was close. My thumbs, of course, like right here. So I want to go right across here with the line. Like right, of, uh, right over there. So I gotta use the mirror a little bit here. Let's just pull the beard up a little bit and we'll do it this way. Check. Yep, right about there. Probably uneven right now because I'm trying to use. Hold on. Oh, that's about right. That's pretty damn close. We got a little bit of shag in this back corner here. Boom. So now you have the hair on your face and your cheeks going down. Let me comb this out. Okay, so now you have all this hair on your cheeks coming down. You have your length coming down from your chin. And then you have underneath, like at the bottom of your, you know when your jaw goes like, like that. So the hair on the bottom of your jaw is also going down. Versus going with your jawline, you have like this thin strip of hair. Um, so it's like your beard's almost like, see-through I guess is like it looks thin is what you would say it looks like a thin beard so when you have this back here it gives the beard support of course but then it looks denser because there's more hair that people are looking at as it goes in so it looks like a thicker fuller beard you know look at that it's amazing and that is my number one tip on how to get a fuller beard you guys have a good day thanks for watching